just a few hours away until we get into our next pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, UCW is live from Long Island, New York. And we're going to be talking about the pay-per-view entitled Modern Warfare. Now, to kick off tonight, oh my gosh, good golly, it's Holly coming on down the ring. Now, on social media, she's been posting about the women's division and saying that she deserves a legit shot. Everybody else has pretty much had a shot at Britney's UCW Women's Championship. But of course the champ answered back to Holly's request and said, if you want a shot, honey, you got it. See you at Modern Warfare. So that is going to be one of the biggest matches that we've already got booked for a very solid pay-per-view. Coming just, like I said, a few hours away. It's going to be huge. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss it. And speaking of the champion, coming on down right now, the UCW Women's Champion, Brittany. Now, this is what's crazy. A few hours from now, you are going to see Holly and Brittany going at it. But tonight, they're going to be in a tag team match together. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, the champ and the challenger are pretty much forced to team up tonight against two random ladies in the back. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be huge. I'm already getting, you know, giddy like a little five-year-old getting candy at Halloween type of thing. That is going to be, oh my God. I mean, can you really imagine what is going to happen? This, you know, this Sunday, pretty much. This weekend. Oh, my gosh. You know, of course, we got to get into more stuff that is just completely mind-blowing that we've had since last week. Now, before we get into that, coming on down the ring is Amanda Rose. And, of course, she also had to voice her opinion on everything, but she didn't get a response back. So, it's pretty much going to lock down to being Britney versus Holly at Modern Warfare. I, the names of the pay-per-views that we come up with, ladies and gentlemen, are so good. I mean, yeah, you'd probably be like, oh, jocking it from video games or TV shows or whatever. We just get really cool names, okay? If it if somebody else winds up having that name on a stupid pay-per-view, they're, they're jacking our style, okay? UCW's the best, that's for damn sure. But, who cares? Who cares? Because the, the pay-per-view is going to be so crazy. We're going to get into more details later. And Amanda Rose's tag team partner here tonight. Oh, she's got the attitude. She's got the spunk. She's about to whoop some ass. It is Allison. Oh, man. She's got, like, just this... Aura, as I could best describe it, of like, I don't know, it's like a mixture of, you know, 65%, you know, bitchy attitude, and like another 15% of like whoop ass, and you know, what's that, 80% right now? So I don't know, the other 20% is probably the good looks. That's about as best I can really put down what Allison brings to UCW here tonight. And of course, she's got to flaunt the cleavage and everything. And here she goes again. Oh, oh, cleavage shot. Anybody in the front row better have their damn camera. Okay, for real. They better have their damn camera. But it is going to be hot, heavy. We got the ladies of UCW going at it here tonight to kick it off. Oh, man. So Holly is going to start off against Amanda Rose. Now these two ladies have gone back and forth against one another in the past. Holly got that arm locked up right now. Oh, now she's trying to go after Amanda Rose. But before I really, really get into this match, I've been saying Modern Warfare is going to be very, 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 very entertaining to say the least. We've got matches 
that literally will blow your mind. You've got, oh my god, wow. Amanda Rose just throwing Holly like a damn rag doll. And now Allison sagged in. But, you look at the card that we have so far. You have Steve Taylor versus Theo. And they've been talking about they want to make it a really, really good match. So I'm going to point this out right now. Because of the whole Bullet Club ties that I have with Theo. He's asked for a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Oh, here we go. One, two, uh, no. Almost a three count right away out of the gate. That would have sucked. Oh, wow. And now, I, oh, no, I sit down, spine buster. Of course, the Global X Championship will also be on the line. Oh, man, Big Bad Rob versus the Kamish. Oh, look at the double team here. Choke slam by the ladies. Amanda Rose going for the cover. But then she just realized, no, nah, I don't want to cover her just yet. Holly trying to counter out of that one. Look at this. Oh, the crucifix taking her down. Looking to tag in the UCW Women's Champion. Brittany now is in the ring. Into the ropes now. Oh, missing the big boot. Into a Russian leg sweep counter by Amanda Rose. We also got to talk about this Global X because the commish, your boy, that's me. If you haven't been paying attention, you need to just start paying attention now. I'm going after my Global X championship. Okay? I want it. Uh oh, what is this? Uh oh. Oh, kick to the stomach. My God. Hopefully, she did not eat. Some bad Chinese food before this match. Now, Brittany, what is this? Fall away slam. But we got to get into the big bad Rob and your boy. The bad blood. Ever since back in the day, man, we've been just beefing. You know, we sell it in the ring. We'd be going back and forth with our jabs and the wins and stuff like that. We'd be taking L's. But now it's the final time. I'm going to point it out right now. I win it. Big Bad Rob ain't getting a shot. Sorry. Commission's going to take you out of that. If Big Bad Rob somehow pulls a victory out. I'm out. I'm out of that title reign for damn sure. Allison back in now going after Brittany. Headlock going into a bulldog right there. And into a quick cover. One. No. We also will have on the line. It's going to be Jerry Clark putting up the title. And this is what's crazy. You've seen Brian Beretta and Ronnie Tate going out. Ronnie Tate really wants his championship back. But Brian Beretta. Has been very good as late. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, Brittany picking her up and taking her down. And now Brittany looking to set up for a sit-down choke power bomb. Got the throat. Got her up. Slamming her down. It connects. Into the cover now. One. Two. No. Allison got the shoulder up in time. So tonight, I'm going to tell you guys this is going to be crazy. If it, Brian Beretta and Ronnie Tate really want to be in the match, I've already said this in the back, and I'm going to say it to you guys now. They have to put on a good match. I will make it triple threat. If not, whoever the winner is, I'm just going to give them the shot. But they need to put on a very good match. A very solid match. If they both want to be in for that title opportunity. Oh my god, it's crazy. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, nice drop kick by Holly. But Amanda Rose with the right hand to the back of the head of Holly. So the United States Championship, we've talked about. The Global X, we've talked about. Oh, nice leg drop right there. Here we go. Cover one, two, no. Allison got the shoulder up. 
So, of course, Global X. And you got the United States Championship talking about Holly looking to set up. Missing that right hand. Where the hell was she going with that one? Oh, but Allison quick to realize what the hell was going on. Kick to the midsection. DDT! Allison with a DDT. Here we go. One, two, no. Could not even get a two, and Amanda Rose gets tagged back in. And I've, I've talked about the World Championship as well. Oh, here we go. Now we got to cover again. One, no. So those three matches are definitely, definitely going to be on lock. Now I know what you're thinking. We need some tag team title in this you know, pay-per-view Modern Warfare. Oh, what a slam right there by Amanda Rose. Taking out Holly. Nice uppercut counter right there. But of course, <laughs> the prestige. Those genetic jackass, whatever you want to call them. They told me, which I was very disappointed, but they said they are not going to put their titles on the line at Modern Warfare. Really? You're telling the commish you're not going to put the titles on the line. Okay, fine. Just know that you're getting suspended. Yeah. Yeah. Better think about it now. Oh, the rose pedal right there to Brittany. Cover now. One, two, no. The rose pedal could not get the three on Brittany. This match will continue. Oh. Brittany now. Oh, what a knee with the right after the kick combos. Oh my gosh. Into the corner now. Oh, now we're reversal into the corner. Oh, Amanda Rose is baiting that one. The knees to the midsection, and the knees. Oh, God. Oh, tripping her up, taking her down. What is Amanda Rose thinking about doing here? Sidewalk slam. That's got to hurt. But you just gotta wait for the weekend. You gotta wait for the pay-per-view. And look at this. Oh, taking her down again. Right in the corner, right in front of Holly. Holly not even doing anything. Two. There's a three right in front of Holly. Holly is just staring down Brittany and Amanda Rose like nothing happened. Wow. Really? That was... That was a... Poor tag team. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. Like the match was decent. I I give it a solid like three stars out of five. I, I really kind of would. But right in front of it, your partner, and you just stand there, like whatever. You didn't care. It's like you were just sizing up. Here here's a replay right there. Right in the corner, Holly just staring, not even looking at anything else. Wow. So Amanda Rose and Allison pick up a win against the UCW Women's Champion and the Challenger. Wow. Well, all right, we gotta take a commercial break. We'll be back for more UCW. Don't go anywhere. And we are back live, ladies and gentlemen. Long Island, New York. Oh man, it is getting, it's getting a little crazy between these guys. And one of them right now, the demonic, the satanistic grime coming on down to the ring. Him and Aaron Taylor have been having so much beef as of late. It is, it is so crazy. Now I'm not talking about going down to the butcher shop type of beef. No, I mean, like, these guys have been legit. Ever since the Tokyo Takeover, when Grime attacked Aaron Taylor, we still don't know why. We, it, it, it's just mind-blowing. Why the hell Grime would even do that? But he attacked Aaron Taylor. 
Next thing you know, I put these guys in the cage match. Grime wins. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Taylor said, I just want Grime again. I know I can beat him. I know I can do whatever it takes. Grime might have my number for the last couple weeks, but tonight I'm looking to pick up the W. And speaking of Aaron Taylor, he is coming on down. Oh, man, he is just not, not in a good mood. He sees Grime in that ring, and he's looking to just punish, just go right after Grime. I can just feel it in my heart. Like, this is not going to be a good night for Grime. But, I don't know. Things can change. Things could happen. You might see Grime actually just come up with a W. Whatever. But we got to see what this leads to because I'm going to announce this right now, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Taylor and Grime really 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 want to keep this battle going and I know that they approached me earlier today both of them separate times they weren't even I didn't even talk to the other person about that other person but they were saying modern warfare we just want to do it you we want tonight I want modern warfare I want to just completely annihilate so you know what we'll try to schedule it on the car we'll make it We'll try to make it happen, guys. Aaron Taylor versus Grime. You think that's a bad combo for a nice little match? Oh, here we go. Grime wanting to shake Aaron Taylor's hand. Oh, not happening. Oh, I slap across the face! Oh, man. So disrespectful. Oh, wow, that was some... Weird camera stuff going on there. The referee back in the ring now. And now, Grime going after Aaron Taylor's arm. Got in that arm lock. Not looking good for Taylor. Oh, got both arms up. Sitting down, busting ass. Grime starting off pretty good. Into the ropes now. Oh, big boot by the demonic Satanistic one. Man, this crowd here in Long Island, they are going to get treated to a show here tonight. And oh, power bomb. Oh my God, slingshot him off the top rope. That has got to hurt. Oh, Graham now trying to set up Aaron Taylor right here. Boot to the face. What the hell was that? Splash missing. Aaron Taylor find the opening. Oh, I think he was trying to set up, but it didn't work. Oh, God. Trying to wishbone that leg. And now Aaron Taylor going up to the top rope. Looking to do some damage. Elbow drop connects to the middle of the heart. That black heart of grime. And now, I'm set up, looking for a suplex. No, Aaron Taylor counters into his own suplex. Nice move right there by Taylor. Punch to the face now. Man, vicious shot. Woo! And oh, he's sent to the outside. Grime taking him over the top rope. And now the referee counting. He's at one. Two. Oh. Oh, picking him up. Two hands choking him down. Back into the ring now. Aaron Taylor actually sending Grime back in the ring. Oh, trying to go for a suplex, but no, reversed. Into his own version of a suplex right there. Into the corner now. Uh oh. This could be that rolling German suplex bending him all over the place. This is not looking good for Aaron Taylor. Oh, we got a cover now. One, 
two. No, is not going to finish this match. And now Grime. Looking to set up for that crucifix powerbomb. Kick to the midsection. Got him up. Got the arms extended. There it is. And just tossing him. My God. Such height. Such distance. One. Two. No. Aaron Taylor kicking out. And now Grimes saying it's done. It's over with. He's trying to hurt Aaron Taylor. The pay-per-view Modern Warfare is just looking so stacked right now, man. No world championship. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to say the tag team championships because it's normally in the pay-per-view. But those pussies called the Prestige. You know who they are. Willie Big Money. You ain't money. You like chunk change. Omega C. Yeah, oh, look at this. The DDT right there by Aaron Taylor. Wow, what a move right there by Aaron Taylor. Then you got Omega C. The rejected version of a GNC, you know, health supplement. You got Chris Snook, who went country boy to, I want to be a, a SWAT member. And no, Aaron Taylor's not going to finish that one off. You know, and then you got, oh, we're going to bring in the commissioner's rival right now. We're going to bring in Big Bad Rob. Let's get woohoo. Big Bad Rob, shit. He might be big, but he ain't bad. Wow. Big Bad Rob. <laughs> what a leader. Oh, trying to go for Steel Nation, but no, what a counter right there. By Grime, and now Grime looking to set up for a second crucifix power bomb. Kick to the midsection. He's got him up. He's got a. He's got him. Tossing him. Got it. And now we're gonna look at a replay. Wow. We actually have a budget for a replay. What do we do there? Oh, here's the cover now. One, two. Three, Grind picking up the W. Grind picking up a nice win. But it's all gonna end, I swear. Oh, wait. We're not even gonna show the replays? What the hell's wrong with you guys? Stupid staff. Whatever. Oh, wait, what is Grind doing? Oh, he's looking to attack Aaron Taylor. Oh, my God. The vicious boots. He is so relentless, and we gotta get a commercial break in. My God. We gotta go to commercial. Stop the damn. Stop the violence. What the hell is wrong with Grimes? Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, Long Island is speechless. And oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, one member of the Bullet Club, the former UCW world champion, Theo. He really looks naked without a belt, man. Prestige taking the gold, the tag team championships away, because they just, I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. They got better with the commissioner gone? Are you serious? The commissioner was doing a hell of a lot better. And now, Theo getting a pyro. My God, give me some marshmallows. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, the Bullet Club. Just crazy. Theo, he looks so naked without gold around him, man. Same thing with Jerry V. Same thing with your boy, the Commissioner. Of UCW, I'm I'm just oh, it just grinds my gears. That Bullet Club has no gold. It's crazy. And now coming on down to the ring. Now this is a stipulation I actually made for this this match. Now we've talked about Steve Taylor, and we've talked about Theo, but these two guys right here, Tyler Derby. Hickerbilly. 
I'm giving them the opportunity. They have never really had a chance to have singles gold other than, well, the ladder match that they were a part of and, well, the tag team titles they've had shots at before. But that doesn't matter because they haven't won anything. What I'm going to point out right now, ladies and gentlemen, if Hickerbilly and Tyler Derby can pull a two-on-one victory over Theo, which, I hate to say it, Dirty D and the commissioner are barred from ringside. Yeah. I can't believe I signed that one off. But if Theo wins, he just gets to have Steve Taylor by himself. If, oh God, dropping him around his head. But if Tyler Derby and Hicker Billy win this match, they get added and it's a fatal four-way? And we're talking TLC, are you kidding me? It is crazy. I want you to really break that one down. Theo's going to do whatever it takes to make sure these chumps don't even do it. Oh, drop it on his head again. Damn, Theo. I mean, we have concussion protocols and everything, but come on. Got him up for the suplex. Oh, a knee to the head again. What the hell? A neck breaker. I mean, I'm not, I'm not necessarily mad. I'm like, yo, like, deep down, bullet club, whooping ass, Theo. Yeah, boy. Yeah. But at the same time, if we're going to see... Oh, look at the springboard frog splash. If we're going to see a guy get dropped on his head repeatedly, I don't feel like having the medical bill and a concussion protocol put into place. Because Theo, he's been relentless. He took out Willie Big Money. You know, which that's probably the reason why they don't want to do anything at Modern Warfare. Because they're pussies. People have been put through tables, damn it. People have fallen off of ladders. People have taken chair shots to the head. And you guys just want to whine and bitch and moan because I got a little boo-boo. Shut up. Ridiculous. Here we go, Theo. One, two, no, not going to happen. Theo trying to take out Hicker, really, from the get-go. Theo now going right after. Soccer kick right to the back. Ouch. And now. So disrespectful with the suck it. Got him up. Oh, reverse suplex right there by Theo. Now Hickory Billy. Sending him in the ropes. Elbow. And now, looking to tag in his partner. Yes, he will. Tyler Derby, the legal man now. Tyler Derby looking to do something here. Oh, double team. Set up for a double DDT. Yeah, I mean, you want to drop Hicker Billy on his head repeatedly. Well, I guess they want to drop you on your head, too. I can't believe it. I didn't read the fine print of my own paperwork. No Bullet Club member other than Theo is within the confines of this ring. Crazy. Got him up on the shoulders now. Oh! My God. Oh, look at this. Oh, drop kick. Dropping the knees. Dropping the drop kick. Tyler going to be trying to fight back against Theo. They want their opportunity against Theo. Steve Taylor. Oh, here we got one. No. That's all it is. Tyler Derby and Hickerbilly. They have the odds in their favor. But really, can we see Theo pull it out? Oh, nice move right there. It was like a pump handle slam, but completely throwing him behind his back. Hickerbilly back in now. Into the corner. Nice shot right there. Oh. My oh God, he's busted open. There's a cover now. One, two, and what the hell? Tyler Derby taking out the ref. Now he's taking out Theo. Botchamania moment right there. Oh, nice forearm right there. 
Kicker Billy is busted open. But he has said time and time again, he will give whatever it takes to make sure he's one of the best wrestlers. And if it, you got to get busted open, that's fine. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. Going after the leg. I thought he was going to do like a sharpshooter or something. Did not work. Picking him up. Slamming him down. Oh, what a springboard right there. By Tyler Derby. And now Theo. Oh, nice reversal right there. And now Tyler Derby getting on the top rope. Trying to get this crowd behind him. He knows what's at stake. Can he accomplish this mission right now? Can he take out the former UCW world champion? Right hand. Oh, he set him up and slamming him down. Tyler Derby building the momentum. Here's the cover now. Referee running around. One, two, no. Theo able to stay alive. Oh, missing that kick, Charlie Brown. Not looking good. Oh my God. What elevation. Tyler Derby trying to just wheel his way. Oh, backhand, pimp slap. Not looking good. What is this? Oh, look at springboard. Springboard suplex sitting down with that one off the top rope. My God, what creativity by Tyler Derby. What is he thinking? What does he want to do? He's just taunting. That's not really going to build a whole lot of steam your way, man. You got to be on that offense at all times against Theo. Oh, look at this. And oh my god, what a counter! Tyler Derby going up. He's calling for it. Could it be? It might be. Crash landing, but he didn't get all of it. He didn't land right on top of Theo. Just catching him with the knee upside the back of the head. I don't think that's gonna take out Ty or Theo. I was about to say Tyler Derby. How's Tyler Derby gonna take himself out? That's messed up. And now Hicker Billy going on the offense. Can Theo tap? No, he's gonna break out of it. Into the corner now. Uh, Hicker Billy did a Tay counter. The feet posted up on that top turnbuckle with such high impact and velocity. Oh my god, Theo trying to stay alive. He's already busted open. Poor Hicker Billy, now they're going to the outside. This is not looking good. Oh, he's springboarding. Oh my god, a moonsault. My mama mia. And now Tyler Derby in the announce table. And now, oh, Tyler Derby tripping over Hicker Billy. Slamming that leg down. This is not looking good. You got both guys, Tyler Derby and Hicker Billy, surrounding Theo, but of course, Theo able to just get out of that situation. Theo now, just like a hawk, stalking his meal. Uh oh. Nice back body drop. But that took a little bit out of Theo. Slow to get back up, of course. And now. Oh, look at this. Oh, trying to counter out of that little head scissors right there. Nice forearm shot, but Theo, forearm of his own. Woo! Knife edge chop across the chest. Uh oh, what is Theo thinking about doing here? Uh oh. Oh, right across the shoulder and probably part of the face, too. My God, that's got to hurt. And now Theo looking to set up. Could it be? He's got him up. Slamming him down again. 
right on the head. Man, we are getting so many lawsuits over these, you know, head concussions and everything. Here's a cover not one. Two, no, Tyler Derby quick to realize his partner probably would have been out of it. Theo now. Kind of getting that win back into his sail. Can Theo keep it up? I mean, it's a two-on-one situation. We know what's at stake. Theo could either be by himself against Steve Taylor in a TLC match at Modern Warfare, or can Tyler Derby and Hickerbilly put themselves in the situation where it's a fatal four-way? Tag in now. This is going to be the numbers game. If they can just keep tagging in, keeping everybody fresh, Tyler Derby and Hickerbilly will have an opportunity to win this match. Now, here we go. Theo with the cover now. One. No. Couldn't even make a two. And now he's just saying, suck it. But now, Tyler Derby trying to get that momentum back into his favor. Setting him up. Slamming him down. Not looking good for the former champ. Oh, and now Theo's busted open with that nasty knee right across the eyebrow. My God. He is bleeding. Tyler Derby looking for crash landing. The first time did not connect all that well. Here he goes again, but he's hitting him upside the back of the head. That's not really going to be that much effective if you're supposed to land on your opponent. Now Tyler Derby trying to figure out what he wants to do with Theo. Theo now. Nice dragon screw counter. Going for a cover now. One. Two. No. Oh, kick to the face. My God. In that corner now, this could be dangerous. Tyler Derby. Send him in the other corner. Clothesline, my God. That was like a freight train. And then springboarding. Completely splashing himself right on top of Theo. Tyler Derby. Oh, now he's meeting the uppercut. Set in the corner now. Oh, what's he looking to do here? Setting him up into the tree of woe. This could be dangerous. Oh, God, a backstabber. Oh, my God. And now. Oh, what is this? Oh, missing the kick. Oh, with Theo trying to get back. No, Tyler Derby rushing leg sweep counter right there. Back and forth they go. Theo now. Oh! Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, kick to the face. Completely flipping over Tyler Derby. Inside out. And he's calling for it. Oh, my God. What a nasty shot, and all three men are busted wide open. There is so much blood in this match. I did not realize it got that personal. Oh my god, Tyler Derby busted open. Theo busted open. Kicker Billy busted open. Might as well bust the ref open. Uh oh, and he set him up, slamming him down. Spike in the head. Quick to realize. Cover. One. Two. And no. 2.99. Almost a three. Man, these guys are just going back and forth. Going for a super. Oh, he's doing that brain buster. My God. Theo's just trying to. Just take these guys out. Up to the top rope. 
Oh, catching him with a leg drop. With creativity, just grabbing the leg behind him. Oh, missing the elbow drop there. Gets to the back of the head. Going for a... Wow, it was like a pump handle back body drop. Uh-oh. Dick kick! Like, share, subscribe, baby. What the hell? Trying to play some leapfrog or something? I don't know. Uh-oh. Tyler Derby. He's trying to build the momentum up. Crash landing, but it's not connecting. He was too far out. Why is Tyler Derby jumping halfway across the ring for a crash landing? Hicker Billy now. Trying to get that momentum still in the favor of him and Tyler Derby, but Theo looking to set up. Knee to the head. My God, this is just getting ruthless. Oh, snap me or taking him down. Theo is looking to end it right here. Got him set up, spiking him down. Could this be it? He's going for the cover now. One, two, and it's three. Tyler Derby did not even come in to save his partner. Probably figured it would have been enough to kick out of. But no, it was not. Wow. Theo picks up a big win in a handicap match. Two on one. So at Modern Warfare, there will not be a fatal four-way adding Tyler Derby or Hicker Billy. It's going to be straight up Steve Taylor versus Theo. Tables, ladders, chairs. Oh my. How many times did he get spiked? Swear to God, we're so going to get lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. That was the final one right there. And that's game over, man. Theo, victorious, and he's talking the camera saying, Steve Taylor, you're next. You guys got to stay tuned for more action. And now we're back live, Long Island, New York. And here we go. Ronnie Tate, the former United States champion coming on down he's looking to bounce back but of course I announced tonight earlier in the show that I have signed a triple threat match for the United States Championship Ronnie Tate Jared Clark and of course Ronnie Tate's opponent here tonight won Brian Beretta wow it is gonna be so crazy the pay-per-view modern warfare is looking good and I love this part the red white and blue so patriotic my god I feel so more American than Hulk Hogan ever made me feel yep and he was a real American remember that right yeah bet you're gonna start singing the theme song right after I said that now coming on down to the ring his opponent Brian Moretta he has had such a grudge. He's been coming up to the office of your boy, the commissioner, saying, listen, I want title, man. I've been the hottest thing since coming into UCW, and it's my time to shine. I want an opportunity. And I said, you know what? Do your thing, young lad. Do your thing, and it'll reward you down the line. And hey, come Modern Warfare, you're about to see Brian Beretta have that opportunity against Jared Clark and Ronnie Tate. So tonight it's going to be Ronnie Tate versus Brian Beretta. Jared Clark is in action later tonight. Here we go. 
American leg sweep. Yeah, he doesn't like calling it the Russian leg sweep. That's how political we're getting here. Ronnie Tay now starting off very hot. Another American <laughs> leg sweep. I want to say Russian leg sweep so bad. Because that's what it's called. But Ronnie Tay insists that if he's going to represent America, it's got to be the American leg sweep. Brian Beretta. Oh, man. Driving the knee right in the back of the head. Not looking good. These guys have been just going after one another. It is crazy. Suplex right there connecting for Beretta. Oh, man. Just wrenching the head of Tate. Ronnie Tate. I mean, I love the red, white, and blue, man. It's, it makes me so more American than I ever thought. But Brian Beretta, not trying to say he's, like, disrespecting the flag. But he's looking to do some damage to the representative of the flag and Ronnie Tate. And neckbreaker right there. Brian Beretta coming out with a nice variety of moves. And now he's just banging the head of Ronnie Tate into the mat. And oh, so disrespectful. I wonder how many people are going to watch CNN and say something about that. Or Fox News. Yeah. Believe that. Now they're on to the outside. Ronnie Tate. Nice shoulder tackle. Taking out Beretta. Dick punch, like, share, subscribe. I wonder how many people really like, share, and subscribe after a dick punch. Really? Or even a vag punch. Vag kick. Dick kick. Anything that hurts someone's genitalia. Why are we not getting that many like, share, subscribe moments? It is the greatest thing you can think of. Oh, rapid kicks to the face. Oh, my God. And Ronnie Tay. Oh, missing the elbow drop. Brian Beretta quick to get out of the way. But Ronnie Tay sends Beretta into the corner now. Turning him around. But Brian Beretta did not want to get, you know, strip search right there or whatever. Oh, he's got him up. Slamming him down. Ronnie Tate. Could it be? He is looking for it. He's got the head under the arm. Arm up above his head. He's got him up. Political justice. Could that be it? One, two, three. Good night, everybody. Ronnie Tate is victorious. He is making America proud. The red, the white, the blue, the political justice to one Brian Beretta. Could this momentum build him up for modern warfare? We'll have to wait and see, but ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take another commercial break. Do not go anywhere. This is UCW Live. Oh yeah! Long Island, New York is getting one hell of a show. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, it is time. Dirty G coming on out. Pyro making the ladies just, ooh baby. Yeah, that's how Bullet Club is. Theo's got the pyro and he's got the smoke. And of course you got Dirty D with that nice little pyro entrance right there, just completely booming everybody out of their seats. And of course, the commish. Man, he's got the panty dropper fireworks. It is gonna be so crazy, but tonight you see Dirty D. He's gonna be in action. Oh man. 
this is gonna get hot and heavy. Not in some weird homophobic, you know, type of way I'm putting it, but you guys understand what I'm about to say, okay? It's crazy. Dirty D is gonna be set for some one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Uh, I don't know where I'm going out with this, because it's really trying to make Dirty D sound gay, and he's not gay. I know that for a fact, okay? He's my homie. He's my bro. He's a Bullet Club member. We don't play that. We don't play that shit, yo. Real talk. Real talk. We don't play that shit. I don't know. It's not really helping the case out. But tonight, Dirty D is going up against... Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? It is the United States champion, pretty boy, Jared Clark. Now, Dirty D has also been saying on social media, maybe he should be in that match. But you know what, Dirty D? I respect you. You are a member of the Bullet Club. I know you and your brother brought the commission. But you gotta understand, man. You gotta understand. I gotta make the right calls. And I feel like with you being in a United States Championship opportunity, it's coming soon, but I can't give it to you now. I, I hate to burst your bubble, bro. I mean, you had the tag team championships for the longest time with your brother, and your brother wound up being the world champion. And of course, I was Global X, and I have my opportunity, but I can tell you right now, I will make it happen for you, sir, to get more gold. Jerry Clark taking Dirty D back into the ring. First sent him to the outside, now he's back in. It's like a hokey pokey, you turn yourself around because that's what you're all about. And now look at this, oh man, I love the athleticism that pretty boy Jerry Clark can bring. This is why he is the United States Champion. Dirty D, looking to build the momentum. Uh oh, look at this, curb stomp, driving the back of the head with the foot and then slamming the forehead down into the mat. That has got to hurt and now he's stalking him. Oh, a knee, clothesline, nice combination. Dirty D looking to hurt the champion. Maybe, maybe just maybe with the comments that I was just stating, Dirty D wants to make a statement that pretty boy Jerry Clark is probably the weakest link for United States champion and Dirty D deserves that belt. It's a possibility, man. Use this as momentum. Use this in your favor. Oh, knee. Right to the midsection. Oh, but a knee to the face. Jerry Clark countering right back. Spiking him down with a DDT. Here we go. Oh, Jerry Clark. Scoop slam. Driving the elbow. Dirty D. Oh. What was that? He was trying to go for a drop kick or something? Realized false alarm. It's too far out probably. Oh, what a big boot by Dirty D. Man, Modern Warfare is really, really gonna look. On paper, it looks good. How it plans out, I don't know. Uh oh. Dirty D setting up. Oh my god! Running the boot right across the face. Here's a cover. One, two, no. I mean, Modern Warfare is looking good. You got Holly versus Brittany, Women's Championship. We got Grime and Aaron Taylor going at it. You got a triple threat match for the United States Championship. Pussy ass prestige won't even put their tag team champs. Oh my god! Oh my god! Flipping him around and just pile driving his head into the mat. And. Kinshasa! Cover now! One, two, no! Dirty D looking to set up again. Kick to the midsection. What is this? Oh my god! That could separate a shoulder. Cover. One, two, no! Pretty boy Jerry Clark kicking out. 
So back to what I was saying about Modern Warfare. Obviously, the Tag Team Championships aren't going to be on the line. But you look at what the Global X, you look at what that is meant to your boy, the Commissioner of UCW. It's, it's one of the greatest belts, I got to say. And that big bad Rob just disrespecting it. Oh, Jerry Clark. Insiguri kicking the head. Wow. But that belt will be on the line. And the world championship is going to be on the line. But Jerry Clark looking for the complete shot. He, he's got it. Here's a cover. One, two, no. Pretty boy Jerry Clark could not be victorious after the complete shot to Dirty D. The pay-per-view, I'm telling you, is looking very good. It is very good. And we still have some more stuff we might throw at you guys. You never know. You never know. Jerry Clark now trying to get Dirty D right where he wants him. And oh, Dirty D with a counter. Oh, me. Oh, what the hell? That's some weird, like, judo move. One, no. Jerry Clark must be hanging out with the little kids at karate classes or something. I don't know. I, I mean, I saw that in Karate Kid, I think. I was pretty quick, you know, hitting him in the stomach and then popping him in the face. Dirty D now going after. Oh, big boot. And now being so disrespectful. That's what I love about Dirty D. Uh-oh. He's got him set up. Oh, catching him. German suplex into a pin. One, two. No. Dirty D could not hit the three. Back to the drawing board for one member of the Bullet Club. Oh! Catch him with the knee right across the forehead. Jared Clark. What could he do? I was trying to build that momentum. Oh, what is this? Break dancing in the ring and then catch him with the right hand. What is this? Like Dance Dance Revolution with, you know, UCW? Oh, kipping up off the ground. Jerry Clark looking for another complete shot. Could he get it? He's got it. Taking out Dirty D. He's completely sprawled on the floor. One, two, three. And Dirty D picks up the W. No, he didn't pick up the W. I'm sorry. Jerry Clark picked up the W. My God. That's, that's crazy. I cannot believe I botched that. I am botching so much. It is a late night here at UCW when you are working so much and you are trying to figure out who the hell is, is who and what the hell is going on. It is pretty tiring, to say the least. But as you see from the replays and the results of this match, pretty boy Jerry Clark will pick up the W. I mean, I feel bad for Dirty D, man. Like, he's my boy. He, he should have won that match. I mean, he started off strong. He's trying to make a statement. I, I don't know, man. I feel really bad that my boy Dirty D, Bullet Club guys stick together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to show the love. I got to show the support to my man. If he's going to pick up an L, though, it hurts my pride. It hurts everything about me. But Jared Clark picks up the W here tonight. And, oh, hey, you know what? I'm just going to come on out. Screw it. Screw it. Close line, baby. Jared Clark, you're going to get some L's your way. Oh, spiking him down, busting him wide open. You take out one of the members of the Bullet Club, and you're about to meet the Exploder Suplex. Oh, my God. What you going to do? Yeah, what'd you like about that one? I loved it. Oh, man. And now, coming on down to the ring. You know him. 
That is your UCW World Champion, ladies and gentlemen. It is Steve Taylor, a.k.a. Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve Taylor coming on down. He's getting prepped for a warm-up match tonight. But he's got the biggest task ahead of him. He's got Theo again. One-on-one. -on -one. The rematch clause is in effect. Steve Taylor. Theo. Modern Warfare. Tables, ladders, chairs match. I mean, that's a, that's a great build-up to that right now. You cannot lie. I mean, it, it, it's the greatest thing I could think of. It's not. Well, you're really not a wrestling fan then. Because that was a really good way of just saying, hey, like, you guys definitely, definitely, you know, are hyping up a great match for a great pay-per-view. Now coming on down the ring. Who's Steve Taylor going to face? Oh, God. The Global X Champion. He's about to meet his fate at Modern Warfare against your boy. But this is big. Bad. Rob. Big Bad Rob. The honorary member of the Prestige. My God, that was the worst choice ever. Like... Obviously, you could have picked anybody better to put in the prestige to replace me when Chris Nook met his fate from the commissioner. And you picked Big Bad Rob? Yeah, he might be that title contender for Global X Championship. Yeah, he might be big, and he might be bad, and his name is Rob. But there's one thing that you're missing out on. He's not the damn commissioner of UCW. Okay? Let's point that out. Big Bad Rob is a joke. He's a nobody right now. I mean, this is personal right now. I'm hoping Steve Taylor, Scoopy Steve Taylor, takes out Big Bad Rob so I have light, easy work. And I hope that Big Bad Rob takes a piece out of Steve Taylor so my boy Theo can get the gold back. This is Bullet Club talk right now, bro. Let's get into the match, though. Steve Taylor trying to rape. Yeah, it's rape. Oh, now he's tossing him around like a rag doll. Big Bad Rob. Hip toss. Nice move right there. Big Bad Rob catching the uppercut. Steve Taylor sent to the ropes. And now a hip toss right there by Big Bad Rob. The champion versus champion right now is getting so pumped up with this crowd. He's going for a suplex, but no, Steve Taylor able to counter out of that one. Now he's going for a scoop slam on the big man, but no. Big Bad Rob able to counter out of that one. Goes right into a headlock. Trying to be more of a technical wrestler at this point. Steve Taylor trying to fight out. He's trying. Nice elbow, nice elbow, and he's free from the clutches of Big Bad Rob. Oh, faked me out. I thought he was going to send him over the ropes, but he did not. Champion versus champion here tonight. Steve Taylor with a DDT to the ankle. Man, oh man, these guys just want to go after one another. But right now, the advantage arrow... Scuba Steve Taylor, the world champion. Oh, missing the double axe handle right there. Big bad Rob now. Got him up. Oh, back body drop. Now he's going after the arm. Big bad Rob going to take out every limb of the world champion. Big bad Rob now with a cover. One, no. The opponent for Modern Warfare. Definitely looking in the back. Of course, it is the Bullet Club members, Theo and the Kamich. Both looking on. 
Doing some scouting reports right here. That's great, but look at this counter right here. Big bad Rob. These guys are going to weaken each other, but can they have enough stamina to hold on from Modern Warfare? That's going to be the big question. Oh, Big Bad Rob. He's afraid of heights, I think. Oh, nice right there with that scoop slam sitting down. Now we have a cover. One. No. On paper, the pay-per-view is going to look great. But how will it pan out? We'll have to wait and see. And, oh! Steve Taylor. Nice counter right there. Oh, he's got the arms hooked. Oh, German suplex right there. And now, can Scuba Steve hit the Scuba Bomb? He's got their arms hooked. He's got them up. Scuba Bomb connects right there. Going quick in for a cover now. One, two, and three. No, no, I thought it was going to be three. He's looking out in the crowd saying, where's my three? Kind of looking at the ref a little bit. But, oh, what a dirty shot by Big Bad Rob. Big Bad Rob now on the offense. Uh oh, here we go. One, two. Three straight German suplexes. Welcome to Suplex City, bitch. Big Bad Rob. Oh, what an uppercut right there. Steve Taylor trying to fend off the Big Bad Rob. I don't know why I said the Big Bad Rob, but whatever. One, two, no. Not looking good. All right, Big Bad Rob, trying to still get the offense going. Trying to make it happen here. Steve Taylor, dragon screw. What is? What are these guys gonna do? Oh, nice counter. Oh, he's got to put him on his shoulders. Could this be? Oh, nice little flapjack right there. Big Bad Rob. Trying to get the crowd behind him. Oh, he's setting up for something big here. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh my god, the spear! Completely cutting Scuba Steve right in half. One, two, three, ball game, baby. Big Bad Rob, victorious. Global X takes out the world champ. Wow. Can you believe it? I can't. But it, it was just a great match all the way around. I gotta admit, both competitors put up very good fights. Could have gone either way at this point, but we had to have one man be victorious here tonight. And that is big. Bad. Rob. So ladies and gentlemen, Please stay tuned for Modern Warfare coming up. You don't want to miss it. The card I've announced all night is going to be so much hype. And hopefully it lives up to the hype. We hope you enjoy. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, wait, 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 Theo. What is Theo doing? Oh, Theo's taking out Big Bad Rob. He's not taking out Scuba Steve Taylor. He's taking out Big Bad Rob. What is this all about? What is Theo's motive? Oh, missing the super kick. Oh, it connects. Oh my god. Is Theo warming up Big Bad Rob for the pay per view for the commissioner? Oh my god, spiking him down. We gotta go. Good night, everybody. See you later from Long Island, New York. Oh, so disrespectful.